We talked about Bristol City finding themselves much worse off than they were at this stage last season. The same cannot be said for Queen's Park Rangers. 14 points better off after 22 games last year. They found themselves in 19th place. What a difference a year can make. Bristol City coming forwards here, up to Semenyo, just inside the area. It'll break on the edge of the box, the strike comes in, and Bristol City take the lead. Just three minutes played. Well, they've begun quickly here at Bristol City. They've been on the front foot. Semenyo involved, the ball broke to Scott, but the significant deflection. There was nothing that Seni Dieng could do about that. Took it away from the keeper. Came off Jimmy Dunn. There's Andy King. Now Viner. Seven defeats in their last 12 games. For Bristol City, an ambitious football club. They're not finding the form that they would expect to have. Here's Callum O'Dowd, and he's got plenty of time to measure a ball in here. Wonderful effort by Semenyo, denied by Dia, who had to react sharply. Lovely Bristol City move. Semenyo rolled it to Callum O'Dowd, and then continued his run into the penalty area. Look at that for improvisation. Just couldn't quite sneak it inside the front post. And working their way through from that academy into the first team. None that they have higher hopes for than Alex Scott. Cleverly worked around the corner. Odalda chopped back inside this time into the QPR area. Again, there's an opportunity for him to cross it. Breaks to Matty James into the ground and pushed high by Dia. QPR need to get a grip defensively here and they need to keep a lead on Calamo down. All the problems are coming from this man. He's getting the better. Not Albert Adoma. Austin. Looks to turn away from Viner. It's a brilliant piece of skill by Charlie Austin who's going to go for goal. He's always veering away. Better from Charlie Austin, lovely piece of square. Just flicked up off the hand, didn't it, of Zach Viner, but it fell kindly into the path there of Austin. The move allowed to develop, and he'll be disappointed that he didn't hit the target there, Charlie Austin. He had a long time to line that strike up. Adoma to James. Standing in his way. It's a little bit tight by that corner flag. Bring on Amos, and the referee points to the penalty spot. He could not have been better positioned there, Andy Davies. And again, he paused for a moment before pointing to the spot. The yellow card, the least. There's problems here. Let's take another look. Just barged through Amos. It was a clumsy challenge. Amos. Just that half a step. And a chance now for Charlie Austin from the spot. Scored 14 of 15 career championship penalties. Now he scored 15. And right at the end of this first half, Queen's Park Rangers draw level. And there will be real frustration from Bristol City that they have allowed this lead to slip deep into first half stoppage time. Charlie Austin, cool as ever. Plenty of power and he's winding the crowd up a little right now as he celebrates. And post delivery, disappointing one. To James holds off Johansson, Andy King though turns into trouble. He might be in trouble with the referee, there's such blatant... ...holding off Stefan Johansson. There's a second yellow card. There is a second yellow card for Andy King. 
who wasted no time in walking towards this touchline. He knew what he had done. And it was a poor touch, and then he just wouldn't let go of Stefan Johansson. He didn't even turn. whipped in, it's a dangerous delivery. Marianos looks on ruefully. What a ball in that was, and Rimos just got it all wrong. Here's the hard running of Bristol City, taking its toll. Kukli are committing more players forwards, it seems, to attack here. And Scott hasn't got a great deal ahead of him. Johansson gets in the way. Willock back to Johansson. Matty James tracks him step for step. Willock again. Field, chance to strike here, and it's held on to by O'Leary. Space the field, but there is no power behind the effort. Looks so O'Leary taking his time here. It's a point that Charlie Austin is trying to make flicked on. Johnny Dunn gets it back to his keeper. Away by Pring. Chance for QPR, brilliant defending. Really good defending by Cameron Pring. Vital, vital touch to the ball. Corner comes in and it's found its way in. QPR have won it at the death. And it's Johan Barbe. And they have done to Bristol City, exactly what they did to them when the sides met earlier in the season. They have won it in stoppage time. Brilliant flicked header at the front post. His first goal since the end of August. He was sharpest on the scene at the front post. And it was beyond the reach of Max O'Leary. And yet again, Mark Warburton's team shows this strength to come back from a losing position, to pick up all three points. And it's an all too familiar feeling as well for Bristol City. Surely only seconds remain. There is the full-time whistle. Queen's Park Rangers in 2021 with a big three points here at Ashton Gate. Young Alex Scott had a fine, fine evening for Bristol City and it was he who put his team ahead after just three minutes here this evening. Bristol City had numerous chances to extend their lead, chances that they couldn't take. Charlie Austin hauled QPR level three minutes into first half stoppage time from the penalty spot, and then three minutes into second half stoppage time, Johan Barbe rose at the front post to flash a header beyond Max O'Leary. Those fans celebrate a brilliant way for them to end this year. For Bristol City, it is an all too familiar feeling of being beaten here at Ashton Gate, but their players showed plenty here tonight, but in the end, it just wasn't enough. Johan Barbe, the match winner for Queen's Park Rangers, who win here tonight by two goals to one.